Welcome back to the channel. This is Matt, the solo adventure, and today I'm eating Culver's for the very first time. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Matt, the solo adventure. Solo adventure because Sarah is no longer with us for the next two weeks. So I'm gonna be doing some solo type vlogs, but we are here at Culver's, Wisconsin Foods Chain that is known for their butter burgers and their frozen custard. We'll see what's really good at Culver's and what's really bad and see if it's overall worth the cheat day. Enough about me and more about this food. Thanks, choosing Culver's, what can I get for you? Yes, I'm gonna kind of have a big order. I'm almost done, man, I'm sorry. No problem. And that'll be all. <sighs> the order never stopped. It's 11 in the morning. Be sure they weren't expecting a big ass order like mine. Ruined their whole day, I'm sorry. I haven't had fast food in so long, so it's weird going to a drive-thru for my cheat day. Oh my gosh, I'm that guy. I've always wondered who those people were that just like sit at the drive-thru for a long time. Thank you. Thank you. So what's really cool about Culver's is they do flavors of the day. I don't know what their flavor of the day is today, but really cool concept. No problem. I think what makes Culver so unique is like other fast food restaurants, you know, they have it like all prepped up and ready. I think it's like made made to order, so the food takes a little longer because they're making it fresh, which that's totally fine. Sheesh, I'm actually very hungry right now. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Alright, bags are secured. I'll see you back at the crib. Enough about me and more about this food. Let's get this presentable, right? Now. Alright guys. Oh man, I'm so excited. It took a little bit of time, but uh, we're good and rocking. I'll tell y'all everything I got. So we got their mushroom and Swiss. We got their Wisconsin pub burger with three different cheeses and like I think a cheddar bun. Pretzel bites with the cheese. Atlantic cod filet. It smells delicious. Honestly, the aroma was intoxicating in the car. Had to try their chicken. Might contemplate a land, sea, and air. Heard their onion rings are really good. They smell good. I'm not a big onion ring guy, but we'll see. Got the fries, of course. Crinkle cut. And of course, their famous cheese curds. And I got two concretes. Also, got a root beer too. They're also known for their root beer. It's like their own Culver's root beer, and it's actually really good. I had some before it got watered down. Damn good. My first time eating Culver's, I wanted to get the whole shebanga bang, and I want to try it all out. See what's really good over there. See if it's worth all the hype. Uh, what to try first? Let's get right to it. This mushroom Swiss burger. That is fatty. Really oily, I'll say that. A reason why I don't like fast food a whole lot, how greasy it is, and that's the first bite, but. Honestly, it's not really shining for me. It's, the bun is soaked. I don't know if that's what fat or from the water from the mushroom. It's just not, it's okay. Root beer to wash that down. Get into this Atlantic cod. Now this got tartar sauce on it. Not a big tartar guy. Smells immaculate. You know, the execution's good, the taste isn't all there for me. Mm. I feel like some mayo would go killer with this. Eh. So far, the cod sandwich and the mushroom Swiss have been eh. They're cheese curds. Oh man, I've heard a lot about these. I like mozzarella sticks, never had a fried cheese curd before. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh damn, I like that a lot, a lot actually. Whoa. Man, I like these cheese curds. I'm vibing with those. Can I try the fries? Yo, I rock with the crinkle cut. The fries are actually really good. Man, and it's crazy because like ever since I started losing weight, fast food french fries just don't taste good to me anymore. Then it's good to know that, you know, there's some fries out there that I can still eat. Try some of their ranch. I mean, the ranch is okay. Let's go to the onion rings. I'm not a big onion ring guy, but these seem good. I got a crying cat over here. Come on, say, say hi to the camera. You know, I like these too. Their breading, the breading that they have on everything so far has been excellent. Let's try the chicken real quick. Chicken piece. Oh, mm. all right. So far, everything that's been breaded has been delicious. Let's try their honey mustard. Man, I don't know, their honey mustard is just okay. I know like none of this is like organic, all grown, but I got like a real chemical taste. But man, this chicken though, this chicken is freaking good, man. It's kind of what I wish the cod would taste like. It's not tough, it's soft, it's nice crispy to it. Man, some good chicken. 
So this is their specialty item, the pub burger. It's got three different cheeses. I think Havarti, cheddar, and some. It's, it's a pretty decent sized burger. It's greasy, really greasy. Famous for their butter burgers. This look, I mean, it looks like a fast food burger to me, but <sighs> bottoms up. I actually like that better than the mushroom Swiss. The cheese is really shining. Cheese is really good. It's actually making this burger better than it needs to be. Cause honestly, yeah, that mushroom Swiss was kind of a dud. You know what? I like that burger a lot. I forgot we have the pretzel bites with the cheese sauce. Yeah. And the pretzel bites are okay. It needs more salt. I think the pretzel bites just need more salt. Cheese is good though. I'm gonna start dipping everything into it. Try the fries. Yo, the fries with the cheese sauce. That is nice. Try chicken with the cheese. Mm. It's like universal. You can put cheese on anything and be delicious. Last but not least, the dessert. Concrete mixer time, guys. Ooh, no! Concrete mixer time. This one's vanilla with strawberries, blueberry, and granola. It's already melted to hell, but I don't care. Now, I did try it when I was waiting for my food. So while it was fresh, yeah, the ice cream was really good. I like this one a lot. Drink it like a smoothie. And I've never been a big fruit guy with my ice cream, but this one's good. The crunch from the granola, the tartness actually from the blueberries complement the vanilla. So same with the Reese's and the brownie one. I tried that one in the drive-thru. It kind of reminded me like a Sonic Blast kind of. Not too impressed, but hey, Reese's and brownie, you guys. I still got good solidifier. I love brownie chunks. Oh my God. It worked out for me because I like when my ice cream melts a little bit. You know, like you get an ice cream from the store and the top melts a bit, so you just like kind of scoop it up. Uh, it's like drinking Reese's milk, having too much fun right now. Oh my God. Comment down below. If y'all ever had Culver's, what's y'all's favorite thing to get? I'm interested to see what are some things I should have got. There's a lot of things on the menu I contemplated getting, but I already felt bad enough being one guy. It's 11 a.m. ordering all this food already. I was hoping the people at the drive-thru would be like, what do you do? i will be like, I make mug bang. Man, so good. Honestly, guys, you know what? Culver's is a hit. I think, you know, there's certain things that were good, certain things that are not. I think all their sides, with the exception of the pretzel bites, have been amazing. On your rings. Mm. You know, for a fast food establishment, Culver's really wasn't that bad. I liked it a lot. Um, certain things like the mushroom Swiss, I was kind of disappointed because that's like my favorite kind of burger. Mushroom Swiss, I just wouldn't get again. I didn't like that at all. It was just kind of really greasy, just really bad. The cod sandwich wasn't bad. The execution was great. It's just, I wish it like it had better taste. Like, I don't know, it just tasted like it was lacking seasoning is what it is. The pub burger, I think it's a seasonal item, so it's not a full-time menu thing, but that was delicious. The chicken, oh man, that chicken was nice. That chicken was nice. Like put the chicken in this like bun and just dip that mayonnaise to it. It was great. I was harsh on my assessment. The pretzel bites are actually not that bad. Concrete mixers, hell man, I don't eat fast food fries anymore. They just taste like garbage, but these are actually really good. Yeah, I'm trying Culver's for the first time, guys. It's pretty good. If I had to rate it, seven, seven and a half out of 10. Yeah, Culver's guys, if y'all ever had Culver's before, Y'all comment down below what y'all's favorite thing. That's gonna about do it this week, guys. If y'all like this kind of concept where I go to a fast food place and just order a bunch of food and try it, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. If you like this kind of content, food content, or just like your boy. As always, guys, this is Matt the Solo Adventure. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next week. Enough about me and more about myself. Peace. I'm excited. God got me to pretend it's a Friday.